In our last video, we understood the need to be able to have the spark leave the distributor early or to advance the time when the spark takes off. Now that's done two ways. We either have mechanical advance or vacuum advance, and in most cases we use both. Talking of vacuum for a moment, okay, any internal combustion engine that has a carburetor or a throttle body is going to create vacuum. The amount of vacuum created is directly related to how fast the engine is spinning and what kind of load it's under. Since the correct amount of timing advance is related to those very same things, harnessing engine vacuum is a logical way to adjust how much advance the ignition timing has. The way this is done is quite simple. I have a conventional distributor in front of me. And this on the side of it right here is the vacuum advance module. I'm going to ask you to look at the point where the points are loaded right here on. This is referred to as the breaker plate because the breaker points sit there. And I also have a vacuum source. You can use any vacuum source you want. I'm working right now with part number 386-215, which is a little handheld vac uh, pump. Now watch the gauge on the pump and watch the breaker plate where the points live in this distributor. As I apply more and more vacuum, you can see the points being advanced. Watch as I release the vacuum, they're going to go back to their own spot. Again, we apply vacuum and you can see the timing being advanced. Okay, so that's how this system works. It's very simple. As the car is driving along, you have more or less vacuum. The advanced plate right here moves forward and back and that advances when the points are going to open and close and hence changes the time when she actually fires. I have another distributor here. This is another one from a classic old car. And I'm going to run the exact same example here for you, but I'm going to make a minor change for you, okay? Again, watch where the distributor plate right here, the vacuum plate is, or where the, the advanced plate is, and watch again what happens to my gauge. As I pump, you see th two things that are not happening. First of all, the plate on the distributor is not moving, and secondly, even though I'm pumping on the advance, I'm getting no vacuum to accumulate. Why? Well, as she's drawing from here, what you can't see is inside this disc right here is a rubber diaphragm. As vacuum accumulates on this side of the diaphragm, it pulls like a drum head, and that's what reaches out and pulls this advance plate right here. This diaphragm has a hole in it. Therefore, I can't create vacuum, I can't move the diaphragm, I don't have any advance. So if you have a distributor that's doing this, you have both a lack of advance, which you need for the car to run correctly, and you have a vacuum leak. This has to be serviced. The other type of uh, advance mechanism is referred to as a, I've got it over here, excuse me, as a mechanical advance. Now, before we show you exactly what goes on in there, I'd like you to notice something. At the bottom of this distributor is a drive, and you can see how it's connected to the rotor. They both turn at the same time. I'm going to hold the drive and the body of the distributor so the drive can't move. And when I do that, watch what happens. I can still move the distributor a little bit, or at least this part of it. What's going on here is this is being allowed to advance a few degrees, actually about 14 degrees, okay? And that, when it happens, allows the points to open or close a little earlier. Now, what's going on? How does this happen? And why does it feel like I'm up against the spring when I do it? I'm going to disconnect this lead here, and I'm going to take off the rotor, and I'm going to take off the entire breaker plate assembly so you can see what's inside. Down below, inside this distributor, you're going to see there's a spring right there, and there's a spring right there. Those are the springs that I'm working against. Now watch as I put this in and push on the inside of the weight right there. Can you see the advance taking place? Let's see if we can get a little better shot of it here. And there it is, okay? There's a weight here, and there's a weight over here. And as the car's distributor is spinning faster and faster and faster, the centrifugal force forces these weights to spin outward. The springs fight against that, but as it goes faster, they can't stop it. As the weights spin outward, all of a sudden this begins to move advanced, and we get more advanced. This is mechanical advance. As she goes faster and faster, we get more and more mechanical advance. As she slows down, the springs pull the weights in, and the advance goes away. An issue to keep an eye on, this is a stock unit. This comes from where we keep our stock old parts from the original cars. When I brought this up here to do this original video, I was not having any advance at all. When I took it apart, I found out that this part of the shaft was pretty well rusted on the lower part of the shaft, and the weights were rusted in place. This had no advance at all, so it had to be cleaned up. 
The same thing can happen to yours. When these cars are allowed to sit for a while and things don't move, they can sometimes get locked into place. Now, how can you test it? We saw that on the vacuum events, it's easy. You just draw on here, and if you can hold vacuum and it moves, you're fine. How can you see if these are working? Well, to do that is easy. What you want to do is let your car warm up. Okay, at idle, remove the vacuum line and plug it off so there's no vacuum leak. Now you have no vacuum advance. Put your timing light on the timing marks of your engine and then gently rev the engine up and down. Zoom, zoom, zoom. As you bring the RPMs up, these weights should advance and the timing should advance. So you should see the timing marks moving where you're looking at them. If you bring the RPMs up and the, RP and the timing marks stay right where they are and they don't move, this probably needs service. If you see them drifting up and drifting down with the RPMs, then this is working perfectly. So that's what we have. We have a vacuum advance, which pulls using va engine vacuum, and we have a mechanical advance down here, which uses centrifugal weights, and that's how the distributor manages to get the spark where it needs to be when it needs to be there.